Okay, so I wanted to show you how you could go about utilizing uh, the DPR T-Marker Asset Pack. Um, basically, if you import the package into your Unity program, you're going to see a folder come up. This is DPR Assets, and within that T-Markers, you're not going to have these other four folders, um, but you're going to have this T-Markers, and if you open that, um, you're going to see you're having objects and a prefab folder. Inside the object, uh, folder contains all the materials, meshes, textures um, to create all the different T-markers. The prefabs are what you're going to want to use to drag and drop to uh, change um, the T-markers with uh, CourseForge. And uh, I'll show you how we do that real quick. But uh, the one really neat thing about this, I just want to zoom in on some of these just to show you. I've got logos on all of them, but they are all changeable. Logos and colors, texts, um, everything is changeable in Photoshop. So you do have to have Photoshop to be able to do this. But I'm going to show you, we're just going to pick this DPR marble um, one, and I'll just show you how this works. But uh, basically, if you want to alter a texture, you have to open the PSD folder. And then you're going to open, um, let's open this cube, because that's what this one is here. This is the... the uh, PSD file, it's actually not utilized within the material. If you look at the cube material, you'll see Sorry. Okay, so in the cube material, you'll see that it's made up of uh, one texture, which is the cube texture. The PSDs are here simply for you to edit. You basically edit the PSD and you can save it as the PSD, but then you will export it as a PNG and then reutilize that map. I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to open the PSD folder. I'm going to right click on cube and you can click show and explore and then right click on it again. And I'm going to edit with Photoshop. Now you'll see what I've done here is for this, um, I've got several layers. So every single one of these layers with text, you can grab the text tool here on the left and come up here and change this. And so um, the goal is you'd be able to create simple textures for yourself and have it um, not be such a hassle uh, to get something fancy. Now you can see some of this stuff, um, you know, you'd have to go create on your own. You could eliminate uh, the masking layer here. So this is a masking layer. If you right click on here, you could disable that. Um, you could create uh, your own uh, like olive branches that I've got here. Um, and then you would be able to, um, you know, bring in whatever you would like over top of this. But uh, let me enable this back. Um, you could also change this marble to be wood instead. Um, you could bring in any texture you might find, CG textures, and drop that in in the background. So anyway, now once you've edited this, um, you could save the PSD if you want to keep that as is. And then you're going to do Save As, and then change your drop down here to PNG. And then um, change your folder to that Textures folder, and you'll see here's that Cube PNG. And in the end, I'm going to just call it Cube 2 because I don't want to mess up the other one. But uh, so we do cube two and you'll see this JN here. I didn't do all of them, but now we save it and we go back into um, we go back into unity and you'll see cube two comes in here. Now we need to change the material. So you're going to come up to the material and pick cube and then you're going to grab cube two from the textures and just drag it up and overlay it. So now you see. For those three that I changed, Jack, Nicholas, or whatever JN initials have come in. Okay, so very simply able to change textures. You're able to do that for all of these. So even, um, you know, let's go into this PGA one so you can see that real quick. So go to the PSD and that this one, the PGA one's on the sphere. Right click on that, show in Explorer. Right click on that, edit with Photoshop. Now you'll see. Um, what you could do is, um, you know, bring in some other logo. I've got all these on separate layers, um, but let's go real quickly, just grab a logo. Um, 
we'll just grab this Pebble Beach one, copy that, come back into the layer here and paste this in. Let's do it differently here. Let's undo the paste. Let's make a new file so we can edit a little bit, paste it in, and then go to this circle select tool. And I'm holding shift there to get the perfect circle. And then just going to copy this. And I, I'm just doing this sort of sloppily just so you can see it. Um, but you can see here that we could bring this in. And then I would just want to bring that really into the Champ logo layer. I'm going to just put it over top of it so you can see. I'm going to edit, transform, and scale. And now you can see that you could bring it over top of it. So then if you wanted to duplicate this across, you just duplicate layer. And then you can shift, drag it over. Do the same thing, right click, duplicate layer. Shift, drag it over. Now I'm not going to do all of them. We're just going to show you this and then do this. You would maybe save the PSD if you wanted to as is. Um, you could rename the PSD if you didn't want to mess up the original DPR stuff. And then do save as and we're going to go to PNG again. And then remember, we're in the PSD folder. We're going to go up one level and go into that textures folder. And now we're going to save this. I'm going to save this as Sphere 2. And then we're going to come back into Unity, and you're going to see kind of what happens here. It's going to refresh. Sphere 2 is here. So come up to our Sphere material. You can see that was in the T markers, Objects, Material, Sphere, and then just grab sphere 2 and overlay that so now you can see that just plopped in that logo right over top of of that so um, pretty easy stuff I'm going to show you here now see how we've dropped those in they've changed over here just how you can um, load these up and then test them uh, but basically within course forge once you've turned perfect parallel on and Mike I think is going to go into this in more detail so I'm just kind of giving you a cursory uh, way of doing this but you click on uh, your P and then you've got your gear icon here and just your T markers are here on the right now when you're loading in the T markers I do not want you to grab the meshes I want you to grab just the prefabs that we've done here so let's just put a different one in that we haven't seen let's put in the uh, medallion so I'm gonna grab medallion back and put that at back you could put these wherever you wanted, whatever colors you wanted. Um, champ there, forward, and you're just dragging and dropping, ladies. Now, I only did six colors. I did not do the challenge tees, so um, I'm sure there'll be people that'll be upset about that, but uh, it just worked out well for me to, to do it the way I did. Sorry, medallion. Okay, so now we've replaced all those, and if we minimize this, you'll see they haven't changed yet. And this is just testing. Um, so if you click on your shovel icon and then click on the T here, you can see I can remove the marker and then test the T marker. And then it's going to put down the one that I want. So we'll keep, we'll go through all these. Just click on the T marker you're testing, remove, and then test T, and it, it's putting down the new one. And that just shows you that the rotations are correct. Um, so in the end, uh, you can see the other T marker. Now, there's only a couple ways. You can't rotate these once they're in, or at least I don't know how to do that. They face straight ahead, which is what you, this is how you want it to be when you're hitting the ball. So when you've got these, um, you know, the little sticks here with the color on them, I've got those so that they face um, toward you. Uh, you can't uh, have them face out or in uh, because these, um, they both then would face to the left or to the right, whatever it may be. So then that's why the cubes, I've got them going all the way around. And then the spheres will face toward you. Let me just show you that. Or I guess you saw that earlier. Anyway, so that's sort of the basics of getting them loaded in. Um, the only other thing I want to show you, if for some reason you're not happy with the size of your object, say you want to make this bigger, you can come back to the meshes. So you open T markers, objects, and then go to your meshes folder. Remember, I'm working with the medallion here. So this is medallion back champ for, you know, these, these six here. If I go to medallion back, if I change the scale factor here, so let's just go 1.5, let's go bigger so you can see it. The back one's this blue one. And you'll see here if we apply that now. So I change the scale factor to 1.5, we click apply, you'll see it gets bigger. 
And so you could go through all of these and just change all the scale factors uh, to whatever you may want it to be. If for some reason they're too big when they come in, you'll have to go in game and test. But um, in the end, I've tried to make everything around 10 centimeters big. Um, I felt like that looks decent, but uh, who knows uh, for whatever your taste may be. I do not know how the uh, normal maps are going to import. I do have a few normal maps, not a lot, because um, in the end, if you're doing uh, a logo or something like that, um, you'd have to generate your own normal map for it, which you can do. Um, but uh, hopefully you'll get uh, some of the basics. I do want you guys to play with these a bunch and see what sort of creative stuff um, you guys can put out and then uh, I will be following this with uh, some tutorials on how to create them and uh, be able to import them yourself. Um, so in the end, anybody should be able to have a custom T marker uh, for their course. All right. Enjoy.